Hey everyone, it's Mike from Just Lifestyle and uh, on the train ride over to Heidelberg um, I was reading more of the Endgame Strategy book uh, by Sharashevsky and actually I was reading part 3 of the book which uh, was talking about um, basically the history and change from the 20th century to the 21st century uh, in like the progression of chess and uh, this first chapter was all about like the status of chess players and trainers and I thought that was a really interesting paragraph that linked to uh, what I was talking about yesterday about being consistent as a player and basically what Sharashevsky writes about is kind of like um, how Botvinnik uh, maintained his dominance uh, at the top of the world chess scene by pretty much treating every potential rival as a sworn enemy and this was his drive to be able to discipline himself to work hard and keep training to basically beat off these competitions and it was really interesting because the book basically um, mentions how both Smyslov and Mikhail Tal who I believe only won the world championship uh, once in their lives uh, in their rematch uh, against the next title contender uh, they performed very badly because they were completely out of shape and not ready um, to basically put in the effort to attain a goal that they've already achieved. So yeah, it's just very very interesting to see like how at that level in terms of being consistent as a player um, your personality and outlook can actually affect that. And I also wanted to mention another section uh, written after this, which was basically um, talking more about Bothanik's like hostile personality. And uh, apparently, there was one guy, uh, Isaac Boleslavsky. Um, apparently, he was like some super, super intelligent but uh, very calm and peaceful chess trainer in the Soviet Russian uh, school of chess, and he you know had no enemies except for Botvinnik I wouldn't say an enemy but just someone he disliked and he disliked Botvinnik's character so much that he didn't put Botvinnik in the Olympiad chess team and as a result the next like Russian USSR um, championship uh, that took place uh, Botvinnik uh, competed in it having not competed in it for almost 10 years and just crushed the entire field in terms of a protest and revenge arc against um, uh, Bo Boleslavsky um, uh, to basically prove to everyone that you know he's still the goat uh, at least at that time so yeah it was uh, just interesting to see how different players motivations can affect their consistency and therefore their strength as a player uh, so yeah, that's all from me. I'm currently in Heidelberg. Uh, I'm about to meet Sean, who has been on the channel previously, uh, also known as the Quizmaster. I did a fun video with Sean and Dylan a while back. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be cool to meet him, and I'm going to get on my way. Hopefully the transport wasn't too loud as well. Uh, but yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.